Algernon Blackwood, Wikipedia article audio. Algernon Henry Blackwood, CBE was an English short story writer and novelist, one of the most prolific writers of ghost stories in the history of the genre. He was also a journalist and a broadcasting narrator. S.T. Joshi has stated that his work is more consistently meritorious than any weird writers except Dunsany S. and that his short story collection Incredible Adventures may be the premier weird collection of this or any other century. Blackwood was born in Shooters Hill. Between 1871 and 1880, he lived at Crayford Manor House, Crayford, and was educated at Wellington College. His father was a post office administrator, who according to Peter Penn's old, though not devoid of genuine good-heartedness, had appallingly narrow religious ideas. Blackwood had a varied career, working as a dairy farmer in Canada, where he also operated a hotel for six months as a newspaper reporter in New York City, bartender, model, journalist for the New York Times, private secretary, businessman, and violin teacher. Life and Work Legacy Throughout his adult life, he was an occasional essayist for various periodicals. In his late thirties, he moved back to England and started to write stories of the supernatural. He was successful, writing at least ten original collections of short stories and later telling them on radio and television. He also wrote fourteen novels, several children's books, and a number of plays, most of which were produced but not published. He was an avid lover of nature and the outdoors, and many of his stories reflect this. To satisfy his interest in the supernatural, he joined the Ghost Club. He never married, according to his friends he was a loner but also cheerful company. Jack Sullivan stated that Blackwood's life parallels his work more neatly than perhaps that of any other ghost story writer. Like his lonely but fundamentally optimistic protagonists, he was a combination of mystic and outdoorsman, when he wasn't steeping himself in occultism, including Rosicrucianism and Buddhism, he was likely to be skiing or mountain climbing. Blackwood was a member of one of the factions of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, as was his contemporary Arthur Mackin. Kabbalistic themes influence his novel The Human Chord. His two best-known stories are probably The Willows and The Wendigo. He would also often write stories for newspapers at short notice, with the result that he was unsure exactly how many short stories he had written and there is no sure total. Though Blackwood wrote a number of horror stories, his most typical work seeks less to frighten than to induce a sense of awe. Good examples are the novels The Centaur which climaxes with a traveler's sight of a herd of the mythical creatures, and Julius L. E. Vallon and its sequel The Bright Messenger, which deal with reincarnation and the possibility of a new, mystical evolution of human consciousness. In correspondence with Peter Penn's old, Blackwood wrote, My fundamental interest, I suppose, is signs and proofs of other powers that lie hidden in us all, the extension, in other words, of human faculty. So many of my stories, therefore, deal with extension of consciousness, speculative and imaginative treatment of possibilities outside our normal range of consciousness. Also, all that happens in our universe is natural, under law but an extension of our so limited normal consciousness can reveal new, extraordinary powers etc., and the word supernatural seems the best word for treating these in fiction. I believe it possible for our consciousness to change and grow, and that with this change we may become aware of a new universe. A change in consciousness, in its type, I mean, 
is something more than a mere extension of what we already possess and know. Blackwood wrote an autobiography of his early years, Episodes Before 30, and there is a biography, Starlight Man, by Mike Ashley. Critical Studies Blackwood died after several strokes. Officially his death on December 10, 1951 was from cerebral thrombosis, with arteriosclerosis as a contributing factor. He was cremated at Golders Green Crematorium. A few weeks later his nephew took his ashes to Sonnenmoser Pass in the Swiss Alps, and scattered them in the mountains that he had loved for more than 40 years. In sequence of first publication Works Children's novels In sequence of first performance in sequence of first publication Novels This list of all Blackwood's known short stories in the weird fiction vein is presented in sequence of first publication or, where first publication is not traceable, collection. Plays As well as his supernatural tales for adults, Blackwood also wrote a considerable number of children's tales some supernatural and some not, as well as other pieces for an adult readership that were not in the weird fiction genre. These included love stories and, at the height of the First World War, propaganda pieces. Short Fiction Collections Aside from well over a hundred published articles, essays, prefaces, and book reviews which remain to be collected, Blackwood authored only one non-fiction book, A Memoir of His Youth. Blackwood appeared in two 1949 film shorts in which he told stories to camera, The Reformation of St. Jules and Lock Your Door. Again as himself, he also appeared in an early television series Saturday Night Story with John Slater. An anthology series based on his work was broadcast on ITV in 1961-63, Tales of Mystery with John Laurie playing Blackwood. Several of his stories were subsequently used in television anthology series such as Suspense and Night Gallery. Weird Fiction a radio adaption by Roy Windsor of a Blackwood short story was broadcast as In the Fog by the CBS Radio Mystery Theatre in August 1977. Introduced by E.G. Marshall, the radio play featured Gordon Gould, Martha Greenhouse, William Griffiths, and Ian Martin. A radio adaptation of Blackwood's novella, the Willows was recorded for the BBC and first broadcast in 2005. It was repeated in 2016. The adaptation featured Roger Allam as the narrator. Children's Stories and Non-Weird Tales Non-Fiction The Empty House and Other Ghost Stories, The Listener and Other Stories, John Silence Physician Extraordinary, Jimbo, A Fantasy, The Education of Uncle Paul, The Human Cord, The Centaur, A Prisoner in Fairyland, Sequel to The Education of Uncle Paul, The Extra Day, Julius L. E. Vallon, The Wave, The Promise of Air, The Garden of Survival, The Bright Messenger, Sequel to Julius L. E. Vallon, Dudley and Gilderoy, a Nonsense Sambo and Snitch, The Fruit Stoners, Being the Adventures of Maria Among the Fruit Stoners Adaptations Film and Television Radio The Starlight Express, co-authored with Violet Pern, Incidental Music by Edward Elgar based on Blackwood's 1913 novel A Prisoner in Fairyland, Karma or Reincarnation play in prologue epilogue and three acts, co-authored with Violet Pern, The Crossing, co-authored with Bertram Forsyth, 
based on Blackwood's 1913 short story Transition, Through the Crack, co-authored with Violet Pern, based on Blackwood's 1909 novel The Education of Uncle Paul and 1915 novel The Extra Day, White Magic, co-authored with Bertram Forsyth, The Halfway House, co-authored with Elaine Ainley, Max Hensig, co-authored with Frederick Kinsey Pyle, based on Blackwood's 1907 short story Max Hensig Bacteriologist and Murderer. The Empty House and Other Ghost Stories, Original Collection, The Listener and Other Stories, Original Collection, John Silence, Original Collection, Reprinted with Added Preface, 1942, The Lost Valley and Other Stories, Original Collection, Pan's Garden, A Volume of Nature Stories, Original Collection, Ten Minute Stories, Original Collection, Incredible Adventures, Original Collection, Day and Night Stories, Original Collection, Wolves of God, and Other Fay Stories, Honorarily Co-Authored with Wilfred Wilson, Original Collection, Tongues of Fire and Other Sketches, Original Collection, Ancient Sorceries and Other Tales, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, and pre-publication abridgment of 1932's Plan the Willows and Other Queer Tales, The Dance of Death and Other Tales, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, reprinted as 1963's The Dance of Death and Other Stories, Strange Stories, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, Short Stories of Today and Yesterday. Selections from previous Blackwood collections, The Willows and Other Queer Tales, selected by G. F. Main from previous Blackwood collections, Shocks, Original Collection, The Tales of Algernon Blackwood, selections from previous Blackwood collections, with a new preface by Blackwood, selected Tales of Algernon Blackwood, selections from previous Blackwood collections, Selected Short Stories of Algernon Blackwood, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, The Doll and One Other, Original Collection, Tales of the Uncanny and Supernatural, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, In the Realm of Terror, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, The Dance of Death and Other Stories. Reprint of 1927's The Dance of Death and Other Tales, Selected Tales of Algernon Blackwood, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, Tales of the Mysterious and Macabre, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, Ancient Sorceries and Other Stories, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections Best Ghost Stories of Algernon Blackwood Selected and introduced by Everett F. Blyler, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, includes Blackwood's own preface to 1938's The Tales of Algernon Blackwood, The Best Supernatural Tales of Algernon Blackwood, Selected and introduced by Felix Morrow, Selections from 1929's Strange Stories, Tales of Terror and Darkness puts together tales of the mysterious and macabre and tales of the uncanny and supernatural, tales of the supernatural. Selected and introduced by Mike Ashley, selections from previous Blackwood collections, The Magic Mirror, selected, introduced, and notes by Mike Ashley, original collection, the complete John Silence stories, selected and introduced by S.T. Joshi. Reprint of 1908's John Silence and the one remaining John Silence story, A Victim of Higher Space, Ancient Sorceries and Other Weird Stories, Selected, Introduced, and Notes by S.T. Joshi, Selections from Previous Blackwood Collections, Algernon. Blackwood's Canadian Tales of Terror. Selected, Introduced with notes by John Robert Colombo, 
8 Stories of Special Canadian Interest plus information on the author's years in Canada. Notes Episodes before 30, reissued in 1950 with newly incorporated photographic plates and a brief prefatory author's note.